Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the CAS Lab 2 of Nanjing First Hospital of China. I'm Dr. Jun Jie Zhang, the moderator of the second live case. Let me introduce my team. Today's operator is Dr. Ye. So please, Dr. Ye, introduce your team. Thank you, Dr. Zhang, and uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, our team is uh, uh, right hand is uh, Dr. Wu Zhiming, and uh, another is Dr. Gan. So, Dr. Wu, would you please introduce you, uh, the case characteristics? Clinical presentation is a chest pain for more than one month, aggravated for three days. Risk factor is smoking. Clinical diagnosis is unstable angina, old myocardial infarction. Uh, arterial fibrillation. EGFR uh, is normal. BMP is uh, 207.1 pg per milliliter. Electrocardiogram showed T valve uh, involution in the uh, one and AVL. Pathological Q valves in V7 to 8. Ultrasound showed hypokinesis in anterior, posterior, and the lateral wall. Ejection fraction. Uh, was uh, 40 percent. 40 days ago, the first ang angiography was performed for this patient. That man was a total closing with thrombus. Right coronary artery was uh, normal. There was uh, some collateral branches to LAD. After uh, thrombolysis uh, in coronary artery, thrombus uh, aspiration and dilation from circumflex to left main, and uh, then they finished the, uh, the procedure. One week later, they checked the uh, angel. This is the second uh, ang angiography. Uh, right corner artery was normal. There was also collateral left uh, branches to LAD. This left main was a uh, 50% stenosis. Uh, proximal circumflex was mild stenosis. Uh, we can find uh, thrombus in distal left main and uh, proximal circumflex. Uh, LAD was sub up to the occlusion. There was little blood flow in LAD. This is a shoulder angiography. Right coronary was okay. There was no collateral branch. This left mean was about 50% stenosis. Proximal the complex was 60% uh, stenosis. LAD was uh, diffuse and long uh, laying. Because this patient is very, very young, uh, he refused the cabbage. According to uh, definition two criteria, the left main may be the bifurcation. LAD and the diagonal was a simple bifurcation lane. Do we need IVS or OCT to guide the, this PCI for this uh, distal left main and the diagonal bifurcation? Um, do we choose a two stand technical or one stand technical for this bifurcation? Uh, that's all. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Wu, and uh, thanks for your uh, introduction for this case. So according to the uh, baseline angle of today, actually it's a typical uh, um, left band bifurcation lesions. Um, but from the angle, actually you can see the circumflex lesion is moderate. Sure. But from the iris, uh, from the angle, from the LED to the left main, actually it's a very diffuse sure. lesion. From the distal left main to the middle LED and the, to the quite a long lesion. Unfortunately, we want to push the uh, IVAS caster distal to the distal LED. It failed just because we feel very high resistance at the mid part of LED. So after we check with the original detection from the uh, just the middle or to proximal part of LED, after that, we use uh, two overlong pre the uh, middle part of LED and recheck uh, IVAS again from the distal part of, to the uh, of the lambda main. For the original angle, we find the uh, nailed phenomena from the proximal uh, to the distal part of LED, including the diagonal. So we want to see the, what's, the, what's the reason of the first and the second diagonal, even though the first diagonal was not large enough, but it was the second diagonal was large enough. Let me show the IVC imaging. The first one, we check IVC from the distal LED to left main. And here we can see the distal vessel is normal. The vessel diameter about 2.7 millimeter. Then go and pull back, we can see the IVC is in muscle bridge. And here the vessel is very small. The vessel diameter is just a lot more than 2.0 millimeter. Then go and pull back in muscle bridge, we can see eccentric plaque. Then go and pull back and the 
vessel diameter is more than 2.5 millimeter. Then go on pull back here. We can see in the plug and uh, so many holes. And this is a diagonal where join LED. This is a middle LED. We can see in the plug have so many holes too. And the patient is the non stemming. Um, so we think the plaque is not the true plaque. Uh, maybe it's uh, organized uh, symbols. Then go and pull back. This is in proximal LED. So in plaque, so many holes too. And then go and pull back. This is the uh, LED and the circumflex bifurcation. This is a POC. This is a left man. The left man um, plaque has uh, so many holes too. This is an awesome left man. The second one we check out is from the second flex to left man. The vessel diameter is about 4.0 millimeter. Then go on pull back in proximal second flex, we can see eccentric plaque. Then go on here, this is a proximal second flex. And here, this point is the minimal lumen area. The area is about 3.6 millimeter square. And the plaque burden is just 63. Then go and pull back this near the ostium circumflex. And this point is the LED and the circumflex bifurcation. This is the ostium circumflex. And here, this point, the area is about 4.3 millimeters square. And the plug burden is about 62%. And the, the lateness from the distal reference to ostium circumflex is about 20 millimeter. The third one we check out from the that second diagonal to LAD. We can see here the diagonal vessel is normal. The diagonal vessel diameter about 2.5 millimeter. The proximal diagonal, the we can see eccentric plaque. Then go and pull back. This is uh, we can see here at uh, nine o'clock. We can see an uh, LAD. We are showing main vessel. And here, this is the bifurcation. The nettiness from the distal reference uh, to ostium diagonal is about uh, 11. Actually, you can see uh, from the baseline angiogram, you can see there is always feeling defect, not only in the LAD, but also in the uh, uh, first diagonal and the second diagonal. Especially, you can see that the first diagonal yeah, is quite a lot of uh, longer signal feeling defect. I think the first diagonal is, should be protect with a uh, wire just because if we're standing yeah we it's quite easier to lose the first diagonal it, we can see some uh, data from the ivers after standing we absolutely lost yeah so we use uh, aggressive protection with with how do you think a balloon uh, angle balloon on the jet balloon or just a jet wire personally i think uh, maybe a jet balloon is better okay uh, to protect the Diagonal, okay, diagonal, okay, yeah. okay. So before the procedure, we give the patient the dual antibiotic therapy with aspirin and ticagrelo. Um, okay. And uh, we check the CT SCT is, uh, is good enough for PCI. So even though we cannot get a good flow result after pre dilation, just because uh, diffuse might be a thrombosis burden. Yeah. Just because there is full wire. Full wire. Yes. <laughs> It can be influenced by the difference wire. And we check the OCT, we will find the distance learning zoom. And uh, Dr. Pan, could you measure the distance learning zoom uh, of LED to the second diagonal? Just because we want, we don't want to uh, standing overlapping at the side of the diagonal. 44. Yes. Yeah, 44. 45. We we'll fully cover the lesion, including the muscle bridge segment. We should select the smallest uh, stand. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. This is yeah, the okay. first diagonal. You're quite big, yeah. huh? Are you okay? The vessel three diameter is more than 2.3. Three yeah. Here is just 2.5. 2.5. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here is uh, negatively modeling. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, yeah, the muscle bridge, we can see eccentric plaque. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, the ostomer of the. First diagonal, yeah. We can check the yeah. flush. And the vessel diameter no, just uh, not, not more than 2.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, I think, uh, considering it's a uh, poor IV function, I think if we can use a jet balloon protect the side branch, we can save contrast. 
So, Dr. Pan, would you measure the length of the distance landing zoom to the second diagonal, the distance? 44. 44. Mm -hmm. So, we should put another, another two stand. Yeah. So, so the two to five. Longest stand? Longest stand, yes. Then followed by another two to five. What's the length, the length between the first and the second diagonal? The 13. 13, okay. So the second stand, we should select the largest size. Yeah, but uh, we should avoid the overlapping at the the mass bridge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Compared with uh, reference angel, we can see here. It's enough. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nominal pressure. Nominal. Yes. Nominal. <laughs> so we'll fully cover from the distal LED and the cross over the mass bridge with a 2.25 yes. by 30 no. drag loading stand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a 30, 30. lens, yeah, so okay. we can... Still need another 30, yeah, what do you say? Yes, I think so, okay. test for contrast to test. Here, according to the original angiogram, actually still there in the muscle bridge. Yes. So what's the, what's the stand size would you uh, prefer to choose? Yes, the, I think based on the IVOS detection, we use the uh, uh, same size. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. 2 2 5 by 30. And what's the balloon size for the jet balloon? 2.5. 2 2.5. We use a smaller. Smaller. Uh, 2. 2 0. 2 0. Over. Right. 2 0 balloon. Prepare okay. for me. So standing overlapping and yeah. uh, approximately is okay. We, should, yeah. we can pull it back. I pull it back. Yeah. Okay. You can see yeah, the light glow was disappear. Okay, we okay. perform kissing. One inside of the MMS and one outside of the MMS of Yeah. This is a tour balloon. It's a very big side branch. Okay. So yes, kissing. <laughs> Six, eight. Three dilate again. We find the severe stenosis at the osteum side of the branch. Yeah. Okay. The patient hemodynamic is stable. There is yeah. no chest pain. Yes, no chest pain. Dr. Pan, so how okay. about uh, the vessel yeah. just uh, before Eight. before the the second Eight. diagonal? Okay, then. 3 or 3.5? 3.5. Yeah, I think so. So what's the lens? We should fully cover uh, from the the middle LED to the uh, proximal, uh, to the left man, yeah. Yes, even though the second uh, diagonal flow was also recovery, but the TME flow was not very good. Yeah. So I just will perform the rewind. Rewind and then, then perform kissing. kissing. If kissing. still failed, we will use. Uh, okay, we can see the first diagonal flow recovery after pre dilate with a two balloon at a six atmosphere, but the second diagonal flow was not good. Just because there's a lot of wiring in the area. Yeah, I think there so. is an angulation between the uh, LED and the left man. From the spider view, we can see the angulation, but we cannot. Okay. So if still failed, we use a double channel cast prepared yeah. for me. Yeah, prepare so, the so, bureau room cassette. Can we pull out the circumflex wire? Because uh, we will not, uh, at this time, we will not uh, touch the uh, yes. distal left man. Yeah. Yes, yes, very good recommendation. Yeah. Now it's better. Yes, it's, it's better. I think it's better. Okay. AP cranial or RL cranial? What's the wire, Dr. G? Uh, run through. Run through, okay. Run through. Sometimes, yeah, at this time, I think it's a very bit difficult for the rewind the side branch. Yeah, yes, important. Yes, maybe we'll change the wire tip curve. Yeah, mm -hmm. make a big, big, yes, and big the curve. angulated curve still failed. Give me a uh, XD wire, a two balloon, yeah, and a two five NC balloon. So, from this uh, case, you can see uh, we should a uh, very good. Uh, projection to fully this expose LED. the bifurcation yeah, side LED. with the uh, macro cassette. Diagonal. Exchange yes. duct here, exchange here, modify the wire tip angle and the uh, diameter. Two five. Two five, and yes. finally still use the uh, previous uh, uh, runs through wire successfully uh, rewinds the uh, second diagonal. After pre-dilation, there is two result. If the flow was recovery, after kissing, mm. we can use uh, DCB. Okay. Or if the blood pressure was not recovery, or prominent side branch standing, yeah. Maybe this is two balloon pushing the diagonal. Oh, okay, nice. There's a low resistance. Okay, it's flashing. Six. Six. Hold it. Yeah. Nice. 
nice balloon expansion. Yeah, but... yeah. The flow is is good. Okay, we can we can get the final result. Okay, kissing with uh, two overload inside range and the two five overload in the main vessel. Okay, impression. There is no significant dissection, I think. Yeah. The radial stenosis fifty percent for the non lapman bifurcation side branch. I think it's an acceptable result. Sure. Okay. We should stand in proximally with a steer jet balloon jet, tactic. Yes, you can first see. Diagonal, yeah. Yes, yes. So from left man to the proximal eddy was a stand lens. Maybe thirty. Thirty. Is it enough? No, I don't think so. First, oh, yeah, it's good. Second, Six point five by thirty six. Yeah, it's good. Second diagonal is. Yeah, okay. What's the stand? Yeah, a G wing. Okay. Okay. So for the three point five, uh, three point five routing stand, the capacity of over dilation can be up to a uh, four point five at least. Four five. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That give me two over. No? So one stand cross over circumflex and the first diagonal with the two wire jet to protect this uh, two big side branch. Yes. So still, uh, for the circumflex, uh, jet wire is enough, but for the First diagonal, considering it's a very severe narrowing of the ostium and a very uh, acute distal bifurcation angle, Dr. A decided to use a jet balloon, a tour balloon to protect this uh, big side branch. Yeah. Ostium is okay. Uh, yeah. Left man. Ostium is okay. We should yeah. push it one millimeter further. Sure. Yeah. Just a touch the. There is a one millimeter shorten after stand deployment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think maybe we really change 38 or just to still use? We have 38. Do, do we have 38? Yes, please. Three for five, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Three, five, I think uh, 38 is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. Yes. We can yes, fully yes. cover with the minimal overlapping the second stand with. Yes. We can make the final I was checking. Yeah. It's quite important for this case based on the ultimate. Oh. oh. What's up? Oh. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. Nice. Yes, I think so. It's still need a back. Still a little back. One millimeter, maybe. Mm. Yes. Yes. Now it's good. Okay. Test for the final test. Okay. I think it's okay. good. What good. Do you say? Yeah. Inflation. Good. Good Inflation. position. Inflation. Inflation. Stand. Yes. Yes. Normal pressure is. Uh... Check the normal pressure of the stand. Meaning, yeah, should do so. Okay, done. No. Okay. And uh, I think uh, you can give a brief summary for this case at this time. Okay. Then go on the procedure. Yeah. Yes. The final result of the flow was very good for yeah. the both branch of the main vessel. Nice result. Uh, yes, yes. Nice good result. result. Yes. And after that, we will uh, use a 3 5 NC balloon to personalization at the final stand and uh, pull back the the jet balloon and the jet wire, just okay. because the flow is good. Okay. Or we can make the uh, kissing outside, inside the the MMS standing, a stand, just because uh, there is stenosis at the. Yeah, I think so. I fully agree. Um, considering the ostium, the first diagonal is still severe nauseous. Yes. So we, I prefer uh, do the do the kissing, jet oh. kissing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We use the three five NC balloon to pre dilate in the stand, yeah. and the two. Two O balloon in the side range outside of the main vessel standing stand. Okay, pre is the side range first. Uh, yeah. The Yeah, six only six nominal pressure. Okay, kissing six eight. Okay, down. Okay. Then recheck the uh, flow. Its flow is okay. We will pull back the jet wire and the jet balloon. Okay, test. Okay, nice. okay.